and I decided to be brave today and show you the other side of my gaming room. The side I usually refer to as the untidy side. So we'll just move around and you can see uh, this is uh, the tidy view and it's obviously a set of double doors, a wardrobe, um, yeah, a, a pretty, you know, a largish but normal sized wardrobe in this rather small room uh, right next to the door. You wouldn't believe what's behind those doors. Complete untidiness. A messy gamer's gaming station. So I'll open up those doors now. So this is what it looks like now with the bifolds open. Um, it's, it's a normal wardrobe. Uh, which when we moved in, I got our joiner uh, to build me, you know, custom shelving. At the time, I, I'd only just started gaming and I really had no idea how to organise anything. Uh, so the setup is not, unfortunately, um, the best. It's not optimal. Um, the router is stuck in a very awkward posse there. Um, it's working okay for me, but um, if I could do it all over again, I would know a lot better what to do now. Um, the TV is a 50-inch Panasonic, which suits me just fine. Um I've got uh, still my old original PS3 here, much loved and still used. Um, while I'm not using it, I cover everything up with um, with cloths or towels or whatever to keep the dust out. Um, I need a... There's the PS4 Pro here. Um, and at the back, you can see there's one capture card there, uh, which I use actually mainly for the PS3. Uh, and I'm not sure you can see it very small tucked in there the uh, one PS TV uh, amid the um, amid the, the cloth coverings um, the router will be replaced shortly with one that fits a bit better and the my games and my PS2 games are on this shelf up above are the uh, PS3 games running along here. And I don't have enough space for my PS4 games, so they're literally all over the place. And I stack everything two rows deep, as you can see. Um, there's more games there. And coming across, there's more PS4 games at the top there. And right under, if I don't know if you can see, um, I've got some lighting from above, which is actually really nice. Uh, I, I, I got all my cardboard boxes up there, yeah. OCD. Hmm. So now you may be wondering why I have an old television sitting on the floor here. Uh, good question. Um, my neighbours were about to throw it out and they passed it on to me uh, because I had a purpose for it. Um, I find that playing old classic games on the modern TVs doesn't always look the best. You know, old PS2 games, PS1, um, you name it. So I'm using that in conjunction with, and this is where the untidy part comes in, but I, I've i got nowhere else but the floor to put stuff away here. I've got a, a PS Classic, uh, which I've modded, and a PS2, which is also modded, and they're connected to um, this particular TV. 
and that works really well. Um, uh, I find it, it displays nicely for those old games. And behind this old TV on the floor, tucked away, so I have to pull out the TV to get at it, is a small shelving unit uh, where I keep my um, DS and 3DS games um, stacked, um, I think, two rows deep. Um, yeah, so a bit awkward, but I don't have to get at them that often, and they're just tidily tucked away there. And over here I've got, uh, obviously, a, a switch dock and a wireless um, controller to go with it, an uh, 8-bit dough controller. Um, another a PS TV, that's a modded one. And, yes, and my old uh, original PS2 from EB Games, which, which is still going strong. I need the um, the modded PS2 down on the floor there um, to be able to play uh, NSTC games from the United States, which of course won't uh, play on our uh, PAL um, version PS2s. This is a very untidy shelf with um, a PSP games stacked in there. And yes, there are Wii U games at the back there, Wii and Wii U games. And this is, this is very sad, but there we are. Uh, I have one cubicle with PS Vita games. They're stacked three rows deep. Um, there must be at least 300 in there. Uh, I've got nowhere else I can put them. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm seriously running out of space. Uh, I'll probably need to clear a bookcase, but where do I put the books then? Um, and so it goes. And some strategy guides up there. And that's it. I game from here. So you see it's a very, very small area. About two metres two and a half meters to the TV and that that's it um, the gaming room I I hope I can improve it with time I don't really have the um, physical energy at the moment to tackle this um, we're going into winter and winter time is always difficult for me um, but it would be nice if I could sort out stuff better um, but as it is, it's certainly workable for me. Um, yeah, so so you've seen what there is to see. Gaming room, that's it. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Um, I don't know whether you found that interesting, but it's my little world, and that's really what counts in the end. Thank you very much. Keep well. I'll see you around. I'm food for dogs. Bye-bye.